Good morning. Hello, everyone. If you would like to sing the really long Good Morning Train song with me, click on the link above and it will take you to that video. Today's story is a classic and it is the perfect story to read in the spring. It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Wow, I can't believe that caterpillar popped out of that teeny tiny little egg. The teeny tiny caterpillar started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Look at this tiny caterpillar. He's eaten through so much food. How can he still be hungry? Do you think he can eat any more? On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Man, oh man, I would have a stomach ache if I ate all of that food in one day too. Whoa. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. I find that happens with people too. If we eat a lot of junk food, and then we start eating healthy food, then we feel a lot better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. And then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. Look how huge he is! Wow, he grew really big. And then he made this cool house called a cocoon. Do you know what happens after caterpillars go into a cocoon? Let's see. He nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. The end. That was a quick little story about a very hungry caterpillar. And today, our craft is all about this guy. Let's go look at the instructions so we can make our very own hungry caterpillar. Are you ready for some week three crafts? 
This week we are going to be cutting and gluing and coloring a whole bunch. In your story time bundle you will find this envelope and inside there are a bunch of green pieces of paper with the days of the week on them, a pink caterpillar head, and four little pink feet. You also have a really long strip of yellow paper. You have a page that looks like a coloring page and has a bunch of different foods on it. Then you have a coloring page of the very hungry caterpillar and then one of a beautiful butterfly. I can't wait to see how you all color those. You're also going to need scissors and glue and some things to color with. Now it's time for us to start putting our hungry caterpillar together. Search through your envelope and find the pink caterpillar head. That is the first thing we are going to glue onto our long yellow caterpillar body. After we glue on the head, we are going to stick on the days of the week. And we are going to stick them on from Monday all the way to Sunday. Monday starts with the m, m, m sound, the letter M. I found Monday and I'm going to fold this piece of paper in half along the dotted line and now I have a little card that opens and closes. Let's put some glue on the back and stick that to our caterpillar body. We are going to do this with all of the rest of the days of the week and we need to stick them pretty close together so that we don't run out of room for all seven of our days. I started by folding all of my days in half first. I liked practicing this folding. And then I started gluing them in the right order. You might need a parent helper to get them all in the right order. Ta-da! Our caterpillar body is almost complete. We just need to stick on those four little pink feet. Find those little feet and glue them all along your caterpillar's body. Do you remember what happened in our story? Our caterpillar ate something different every single day. And that's what we're going to work on now. This piece of paper is all of the different things that the very hungry caterpillar ate in the story. I'd like you to color all of the different squares and once they are completely colored, it's time for you to practice your cutting and cut each of the little squares out. Remember, we are just practicing our cutting, so if your squares aren't coming out perfectly when you cut them, don't worry. We are practicing so we can get amazing at using scissors. And the only way to get better at something is if we practice, practice, practice. Now it's time for us to glue the food inside each of the days of the week. If you remember, on Monday, the hungry caterpillar ate one apple. And on Tuesday, he ate two pears. If you need help remembering which food matched which day of the week, you can go back to the beginning of the video and watch that part of the story again so you can match everything correctly. And look at this! My very hungry caterpillar is finished and you can use it to tell yourself the story again while you're at home. Or maybe you can share the story with a parent or one of your little brothers or sisters. This was a really fun craft. Take a look at some of this awesome artwork. How are you guys getting so good at all of these artistic creations? We love seeing these pictures. It's our favorite part of every single week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, guys. I can't wait to see you next week for another story time video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later. Bye.